What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I can't actually show you the box because the way that the mail person delivered the box, it was able to fit into the mailbox from how they put it into the box on the back. But the lip for the door on the front kept it from coming out, so I had to rip that box apart. This box, by the way, this was the, hey, sorry uh, that your rod is taking so long to get to you. We want to give you a code to get a free clickbait. Um, <laughs> this was like two weeks. Two weeks I've waited on this. But I don't know if it was because of the clickbait and how fast it sold out. Or if it was because of anything else I may have placed in with that free bait order. Uh, but. The new. Newest part of our bait. Uh, I went with the 3 8 ounce Sexy Shad clickbait as my uh, thank you for your patience gift from Ketchco for waiting so ridiculously long for that Guggenrod, uh, which I don't have a reel for yet, but hopefully that's coming soon. And there is a ton of videos out there already showing off the clickbait that aren't Guggen related. Like, uh, the Burley Fishing Channel, they, he's already uh, shown them off. Of course, you've got Weston, Lake Fork Guy, AP Bassin, and, and Lojo, and them all. And uh, Yak Pack. <clears throat> It's funny, I, not that I'm like trying to start stuff within the fishing YouTube community, but two years ago, Yak Pack makes a video saying why I'll never be a Guggen, uh, blah, 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 and Lojo's leaving comments, we'll start our own Guggen squad, fast forward, and now Lojo's a Guggen squad member, and Yak Pack is... Evidently on his way to becoming a Guggen representative as well It's just some of these things strike me as funny, but That's it man These uh, stainless steel beads like there's a lot of noise and vibration in the water with that I Can't wait to throw it when Ketchco gives you a code to get a free bait on them you can't, you have to take advantage of that free shipping because you're a member. And, uh, like I said, get a couple things at a very discounted price and free shipping. Um, I, I feel like after this summer, uh, I was missing some hookups and I think it's because I was throwing two aught, which is like, should be just for my finesse and trick worm. Um, and I needed to upsize, so I got some 4 aught and 5 aught hooks as well. And then, of course, I got two more 3 8 ounce. Uh, I got the black and blue, and I got the white and chartreuse. I figured between these three colors, uh, and probably bluegill, I should be able to get it done. Um, and then for, you know, my creature baits and, uh, the frogs and stuff like that, I needed some bigger hooks. Those were like $2.97 a pack. Why not throw them in? We'll try them out. Um, I usually use like, um, whatever's in the black and gray case from Walmart. So, and then what I'm really excited for is you know I got the uh, bull shad I really like its action and I think probably my favorite color in the whole Buka Ketchko baby bulls is that ghost I mean it just has this swim pattern that it just at least on the bull shad, the faster you put it in, the tighter and faster it wiggled, and then the slower you'd get that motion 
and I really wanted to try out the gill to see uh, what it does and how it stacks up against the shad. But then again, it brings me back to my debate with myself. Do I uh, keep buying baits like this? You know, whenever I'm running low or I see something new that I want? Or do I, um, do I just make them myself? Like, I feel like I could carve out some baits. Or anybody jumps in the comments and like, you're just trying to be like Nate Marling and Chris Jones and you're just trying to be like Marlin Bates and uh, World's Worst Fishing and uh, yeah, they're having a blast making their own shit and then catching something on something that they made. Tell me that that is not the most fun you could ever have. Like, then my only concern is time. Uh, I'm probably not going to break the forge back out and get the anvil out and start forging up knife blanks. I'm probably just going to do stock removal if I want to do some knives. Uh, I probably won't do any more pipes just because I have enough pipes and there's not really anybody out there looking to get one of my pipes anymore. There are some really great pipe makers in the community now. Um, I don't know that I would be selling my baits. I would just be making them for me. Uh, and you just get to follow along on my experience on how I did it. Imitating some of the great content that I've been watching on YouTube. Like this channel isn't, it's, I never thought I'm going to make it big in YouTube and this channel is just going to blow up and I can get rich and quit my job. I, I always took this channel as I have learned so much stuff that I've been interested in watching YouTube that I wanted to give back uh, stuff that I have learned by showing you things that I'm doing that I'm learning. I'm learning how to fish again, I'm learning how to hunt again. Uh, I learned how to make pipes and do the whole pipe thing. Uh, <clears throat> haven't really showed y'all much of the mini truck inside, but it's coming. I feel like that's I'm in a good spot now where that's good content to show. Um, you know, whatever. So it's I don't think that this is going to be. A, I'm not in danger of you being like you're just copying Marlon Bates. Uh, no, I'm just taking what I've learned from him and applying it and see how it works for me. And I'm, prob I'm probably going to do a few things different, but we'll see. So anyways, I just wanted to show you real quick that I got the clickbait in finally. If you watch the rod video, then you understand, then you, then you already know the story. And so you were... You know, you understand my anticipation on this order. If you haven't and you're kind of lost, I will link that description below. Maybe put it up in the card. Just go watch it. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, that really does help because it, you know, gives me motivation to keep doing this. Uh, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think about the content thus far. What you would like to see. What you think I'm doing right. What you think I'm doing wrong. Um, yeah, share, you know, do all the stuff that helps me out. It's free for you. And until next time, we'll catch you on the turn, too.